Hi guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for clicking on my video one more time. For those of you who are my returning subscribers, I would like to say thank you so very much. I need only 47 more subscribers to get to the 1000 mark. So for those of you who are here for the first time, I do hope you will find something on this channel that you like and would consider subscribing in the near future. This video today, it is a video I promised you guys last year and I never got to it. So after making you guys wait for so long, this is my video about my gardenia fragrances. It is not all my gardenia fragrances, but it is my favorite and most loved gardenia scents. I have fragrances from all price categories in my favorite list. The first gardenia fragrance I would like to introduce, this gardenia fragrance, it is called Gardenia Grand Soir. It is from Parfumerie Générale. This one, it is a unisex fragrance and the composition, it is gardenia and sandalwood. This is a very special fragrance. I have had this in my collection for many years and it is a gardenia scent which all perfume lovers or people who love gardenia should try. This one, it is really special. I will leave everything in the description box. The next gardenia scent on my list, this one, it is from the Niche Perfume House of Annick Goutal. This one, it is called Amate de Wage, A Stormy Morning. I do love this gardenia scent because it is so different. It is a green gardenia scent. When this is applied, you would not think it is a gardenia fragrance because the opening, it is green notes. And also there are citrus notes, lemon, and in the heart note of this fragrance, is where the gardenia lies and it is, you can say, boosted by other white florals. The gardenia in this fragrance, it appears a bit late, but it does remain. This is a lovely gardenia fragrance. It is different, but at the same time, it is very beautiful. The next gardenia that I have, this one, it is a best friend of mine. I have used, I think, at least 100 milliliter bottle and another 50 milliliter bottle. This is gardenia from the perfume house of M. Mikalif. This is a beautiful creamy gardenia. It is almost like you are surrounded by a cloud of soft gardenia when wearing this fragrance. This, it is so perfect for summer. It is never cloying and it is never loud. It is just a perfect gardenia fragrance. And business as usual, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Mikalev makes some of the most beautiful fragrance bottles on the market, if you ask me. And if you get a hundred milliliter of perfume from uh, Mikalev, you can always get the bottles engraved with your name or whatever message you are wanting. I think after Guillain, Mikalif is the perfume house where I have the most bottles. The next 
next one this is a legendary fragrance i have the old formula but i know a lot of fragrance friends who use also the new version this is island gardenia from joven musk i think this one needs no introduction this is such a beautiful perfect gardenia fragrance it is not cloying it is not heady and the awesome thing is you can pick this up at just about any drugstore if you are in europe you would have to pick this up online this one can be worn in the spring because it is not too tropical on a warm spring day you will have no problems carrying this off the next fragrance it is from the niche perfume house of Memoir Liquide. There were, I think, the first line who came out with bespoke fragrances. And I got this right when they started with this concept. I am looking at the sticker on here. Actually, I ordered this from Bloomingdale's in the US. And at the time, I don't know if you can see it, they did not include the name of the fragrances on the bottle. They included it in the cap uh, of the container. This is their Gardenia fragrance. It is number 422 Gardenia. This is such a beautiful, creamy, gardenia fragrance it is a roller and it is a gardenia oil this one it's a bit on the sweet side and i do like this in very warm weather because it does open and the florals do come out quite nicely I am not sure if this version is still offered, but I will leave the information in the description box. This is from Il Perfumo. This is a niche brand from Italy. The Gardenia scent, it is called uh, Gardenia Royale. This one, it is a bit of a fresh Gardenia leaning more towards, I would say, green it is not a creamy gardenia but at the same time it is very beautiful this one has notes of gardenia peony jasmine and tuberose it is a nice gardenia for those who don't like it very creamy and powdery another very fresh gardenia that i love it is from the Giela exclusive collection and it is called Cruel Gardenia. This one, it is very loved in many of my uh, perfume groups. I do at the moment, I have a decant of this one. We are always buying Cruel Gardenia and then distributing it amongst ourselves. I love this very much and it is about time I got uh, a full bottle. By the way, when I bought the Giela Undressed, what is it called? Undressed Brown, the fall palette, the new palette, they also sent me a sample of Cruel Gardenia. So I love this so much and I have used it for so many years. I need to put this on my Christmas perfume list. This one, it is definitely office proof. This is definitely one to try when you are in the Guillain boutique. Or if you are ordering makeup or anything from Guillain, you can choose the perfume samples you are wanting to receive. And this is always a good way to sample the Guillain exclusive 
fragrances. Another legendary gardenia I would like to tell you guys about. I will not spend much time on it because it will break your heart. This one, <laughs> you can look at the bottle and it is so raggedy, but this I paid a lot of money for some years ago on uh, eBay. This fragrance, it is from Yves Rocher and it is called Pure Desire de Gardenia. This is a legendary gardenia fragrance. I will not spray it just for spraying. It is one of the most beautiful gardenia compositions ever created. It is fresh and in the same direction as Cruel Gardenia from Guillain. If you can find this on eBay, it is definitely worth your coin. This is a fragrance which is spoken about on all fragrance communities. We have been wanting for Yves Rocher to bring this back for such a long time. Their gardenia compositions, yeah, what they have sold in the last couple of years, they have not been anywhere near as beautiful as the juice in this bottle. The next fragrance I am going to talk to you about, it is the mother of all gardenias. This fragrance has been available since 1879. It is a gardenia fragrance that everyone needs to sample. It is so beautiful. This fragrance, it is called Pleasures Gardenia and it is from the perfume house of Krigler. For those of you who are not familiar with Krigler, this fragrance house, it started in Germany, in Berlin, and now they are in the US. This is the packaging and this is what the fragrance looks like. Pleasures Gardenia number 79. This is very special because it is a gardenia fragrance with a note of mimosa which adds a bit of sweetness to the gardenia. It is never cloying and also in this gardenia there is a strong dose of musk and also jasmine and vanilla. But the notes which are most prominent it is gardenia and mimosa. This is, like I said, a must try for everyone. This one, unfortunately, guys, it is not cheap. The 100 milliliter, it is costing 615 euros. The 50 milliliter, it's 455 and 2 milliliters, it is costing 35 euros. Pleasures Gardenia, it is quite a potent fragrance, so it can be dosed quite conservatively. <laughs> To say it nicely, I wouldn't say cheaply, but you do not need three sprays of this. One, two uh, spritz are enough. Guys, if you are on a fragrance journey and you are wanting to sample different fragrances from very prominent fragrance houses, Pleasures Gardenia is one of those scents. The next one, it is from Michelle Bergman. This one, it is called Black Gardenia. This is a niche house also, and I believe they only have three scents. There is a gardenia, a musk, 
and another fragrance. Anyway, I do have the gardenia. It is the perfume oil. This one, it is an earthy gardenia. It does have a bit of a, you would say, dark vibe going to it. I love wearing black gardenia at night in the summer. And the notes of this one, it just says it is gardenia and musk. This has been around for a very long time and it is a beautiful gardenia fragrance. The next one, it is a Liebling of mine. This gardenia tropical fragrance, it is called Moniette Paris. This one, it is only sold at niche fragrance uh, shops. I bought this from Lucky Scents in the US and I do believe in Europe first in fragrance or in Germany the shop is called Aus Liebe zum Duft. I do believe they also carry Monnier Paris. This is a very soft feminine gardenia fragrance for spring and summer. I cannot imagine anyone not loving Monnier Paris. I also have uh, in Monnier Paris the body oil. This is also lovely. I either wear the oil or the fragrance but not both. This also comes in a 15 milliliter perfume oil. The fragrance contains gardenia, vanilla, lily of the valley, and vanilla orchid. The next one, I am almost finished. This is from the house of Jolene Fragrances, and the fragrance, it is simply called Jelaine Gardenia. This is another niche fragrance house and they only make perfume oils. This is a beautiful creamy uh, gardenia. It has um, a pipette, yeah, and it is just a beautiful bottle. This one, it is gardenia and musk and it is a lovely creamy gardenia fragrance. I also like uh, sleeping with this fragrance. This one, it is costing about $168. I will leave the website address in the description box. They do make a lot of uh, perfumes and the quality of this house, it is very good. By the way, I think this one, it is the most powdery gardenia that I have. The last gardenia scent I would like to tell you guys about, it is Isabe gardenia. This is another, uh, you can say gardenia that is loved by most gardenia lovers. This one came out, I believe in 2006. It is not a gardenia solid floor. It is more of a floral gardenia. There is a big dose of gardenia in the fragrance, but there are a lot of other soft white and yellow floral notes in the composition. This one, it is similar to Anikutal's Amatin de Wash. When the scent uh, is sprayed, it does not really behave like a gardenia. It is a beautiful gardenia fragrance because the gardenia dominates, but it is not for everyone. If you are looking for a pure gardenia, this would not be the one, but it is a beautiful fragrance. These are my favorite gardenia fragrances, the ones I have in my rotation. I would love to know which gardenia fragrances you are liking. Please leave me some comments in the description box. Anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of day. 
I hope you are having a lovely summer wherever you are in the world. Take care and hope to see you again soon on my channel. Tschüss!